Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, June 24th, and I am back with another Goodwill haul. I went back this morning because I left some things that I wanted to get, a couple things, and ended up, yes, I ended up getting more. First, I want to um, I want to address something. I got a comment on yesterday's video. Thank you to the person that commented. I appreciate your view. Videos are too long. I try to shorten them as best I can. I'm not on here like all the time, every day, every other day. Sometimes it's weeks before I make a video. So there's usually a lot or as in my hauls, my hauls are lengthy. I have split up especially the last consignment haul because if you timed it all it would have been over two hours. However, when I break up videos like that, they don't get as many views and people say, oh, I missed this or I missed that. That's because it was in this part. No, I would not have filmed that in one video, but I did that one the best way I could. And normally if it's within 30 minutes, that's my frame. That's all the space I have right now. So it's only going to be 30 minutes or less. Personally, I don't mind if the video is long, say longer than 10 minutes, because sometimes it takes that amount of time just to do a little commentary like I'm doing now. And a lot of times the videos end and it's like, really? I thought there was more. Or now I have to ask all these questions because I didn't get the answer to because they didn't give a full explanation. So, and I know some of the um, tips are to keep it short because that's how you pull people in. Well, you guys know me. If you're interested in what I have to see, you're going to watch or not. And that's the same way I am with people. I know what I'm looking for, and if the video is an hour long and I'm interested in it, I will watch it regardless. But, um... Yeah, I, I like I said, I try my best to keep them short or short enough. A lot of times there's a lot more that I want to say and I just don't. And then I don't make a part two because I just don't get to it. I just feel that, okay, if I didn't get enough responses, then nobody cared enough or nobody was interested in that topic to even continue it even though it may have been something I wanted to um, get some help on so yeah same thing with my hauls the reason why yes I'm still focused on this this was the other comment I don't pan out and show everything I watch videos like that where everything's shown laying out and shown up front because if I can see everything in, in the hall, I don't want to watch the video anymore. Nine times out of ten, I won't watch the whole thing. Unless it's something I'm really, really interested in, I've never seen, and I just have to watch it. But if I'm looking at just a little bit, I'm interested, I want to see, okay, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next. That's the whole point of making the video. So that's just my personal way. Of, um, of viewing videos. I enjoy watching other people's videos like that too. I try not to focus on things too long, but like right now I'm talking to you, so I'm not going to go on yet. Yes, it's been four minutes. I'm moving along. So sometimes, yes, I do get distracted and I end up over talking. But for the most part, I try to move along as quickly as possible to keep you guys um, interested and just to share. But if it's something I'm really wanting to show you and I really need some opinions or comments or something, yes, I'm going to focus on it a little bit longer. It may take a little bit longer to get the message out. So. 
but I do really appreciate that comment. Um, it's really helpful because, yes, I've seen videos where people are just, yeah, we're not going to go there. And, um, yes, it, it happens a lot. I notice it when I'm watching somebody else's video before I do my own. I pick up whatever language or whatever they have. That's where that comes from. Unless I just lose my train of thought and I just have a long pause. But let's move it along. It's been five minutes. So, thank you, guys. Dino Works. This was brought in yesterday, or last night after I left, because the uh, tag is 6.23 on it. It was a dollar 99. This is a eyewitness toy or eyewitness kit. Discover the world of dinosaurs, cast, paint, assemble, and display a T-Rex 19-inch T-Rex skeleton. We're gonna learn about dinosaur digs. Apparently, there's more of those things. Hands-on learning. I got this for. It says ages eight and up. I got this for my 12 year old, but I know that my little one will like this too. In fact, we were reading his dinosaur book last night. I was explaining to him about the king of the meat eaters is the T-Rex. So he'll like this, but I have to put this up um, or he'll try to open it. And son is not here, as you guys know. So yeah, there's uh, this is a content. Two reusable molding trays, perfect cast. Casting material, paints, brushes, magnets, glue, and an illustrated educational booklet. This was there yesterday, Escape with the Gold Treasure Quest. I had to think about it. It's a single player game. There's 40 Mind Challenge cards, beginner to expert. I said ages eight and up. This is for my son as well, my 12 year old. So he will have a great fun with this and I just opened the top but it still still feels and I'm going to pull it out for time's sake. Not another laptop. Yeah, another laptop. This one, um, yeah, I got it for Kingdom's Factor. And we're $2.99. But yeah, Princess, my twin girl is a about the princesses. And so, excuse me for that. Um, this one has this little CD in there. And um, it does math and does a stylus pen. I'm not going to turn it on right now. But, sorry for moving. I'm picking up the thing I dropped because I need it. It's one of my props. Yeah. Magic Wand laptop. It's from VTech. So, for two to two ninety nine prints. Yeah. And next, not another laptop. Yes, another laptop. So, Thomas, my twelve year old, had this laptop when he was around two or three. He found it at Target because he was a Thomas fan, and so was my three-year-old twin boy. So, because I got princesses, I had to get this one. Normally, I don't do that, but um, in this case, since they were both there, I went ahead and got it. So, he'll have great fun with this and learn as well. Scrabble. I picked up Scrabble because we need another one. I use um, the tiles to teach them. We play games with them. Not just the game, but games with them, vowels, consonants, um, things like that. So, And then I let them learn how to make words and uh, things like that. They'll put them together their own Scrabble way. So... Next, not another laptop. <laughs> no, not another laptop, but it is electronic. Hooked on phonics. And so this is called Letterbox. Music. Find the letter X. Letter you turn the knob to spin it, then hit the red button. Can you so catch it? Spin this knob here. Hit the red button. And when you see the letter, 
S or whatever they're asking Find you. Find the letter there S. Is. You pop in, pop in, letter S. There's no stop in letter S. Can you catch it? Okay, now they're on to Z. But it gives you a, a, a dollar amount, a coin, like a, a quarter or something that you win. So, anywho, uh, for $1.99, uh, hooked on phonics, I couldn't beat that. Stuff is like brand new. The laptops are great. They look really barely used. Okay, let me speed it up. I saw the puzzle yesterday. I'm assuming the same person that had the other ones brought this one in. I left it. The sound puzzle. Now I know my ABC. Uh, there were no pieces. This morning I found the bag. It wasn't attached, but all the pieces are there. And it was a dollar. So I picked that up. Don't have an alphabet sound puzzle. Shelves. These two shelves were three ninety nine. I like to use all my wall space and I need some more space. So I'm going to start use, utilizing the wall. So some of their um, things that I don't want them to reach will be on the shelves. This little unit here, I saw this yesterday too. I kind of had to think about it because it looks like really nothing but there's a lot of things I can do with this and the thing I'm thinking I'll come back and um, update but I really think it, it is going to be quite useful it was two dollars I have been looking at this toy for the past couple of weeks it's, it's been sitting there it was only two dollars but it's called Musical Super Skipper. It reminds me of Bop It. Or not Bop It. What is that? I just said it because I just did this video. Um, skip It. That's it. If you guys have girls, you know that the thing you tie it, you, you put around your leg, the little plastic thing with the ball, and you jump, and the music, and it gets faster, and the tempo changes, and they have to keep jumping. Um, that's what this reminds me of. I kind of thought it would it would be boring. That's why I never picked it up. But then I thought about it for my three year old girl because she's really high energy, hyper type. I just kind of thought this may give her an out, especially if we can't go outside um, doing something like this. So we'll see. But for two dollars, yeah, and it's by Kidoozy. I'm gonna have to look that up and see what else they have. But yeah, I that's what I just left it sitting there and it's been in there, but it's a really nice uh, sturdy toy. So Ring Toss. It was brought in yesterday after I left. It's marked six twenty three or four ninety nine. It's complete and has been opened. And we can use it inside too. This one is the um target brand. It was Originally 15, and then they clearanced it to 7.98, or 6. It was 16. They clearanced it to 7.98, and so I got it for five. So that was well worth that. It is the wooden set, so yes, we know that will last. The pegboard I saw yesterday, and I didn't get, and I should. I realized I needed another one, so I went back and got another one. It was two dollars. This unit I saw yesterday. There's two of them. There's the other one. That one's a little bit taller. Or this one's a little bit taller. They are very heavy. They're real wood. Just, they're heavy. Um, they hang on the wall and just empty. They're really, really deep. But somebody had them. They just stuck little labels in there. This one says glue and tape. The other one says flashlights, and I can't read the other one. This one, um, they had common tools and uh, some other stuff. So I need to, um, I need some more things like this. So it's going to go on the wall, and I don't know if I'm going to use it for household stuff or for the kids, but in any case, they were three ninety nine, and I needed those. So there's the back. Next up, 
I have. Ooh, very shaky job. This um, this is another shelf. I'm not going to take it out. It's just red. And um, here is the matching magazine rack, and it has hard cutouts. I don't know if I'm going to keep this and use it for myself or where I'm going to use it, but I liked it. I just like the color. It stood out. It's it's because it's wood. It's really sturdy, um, and it was just really worth the fine. We just yeah, we're into organizing. And so I'm doing really well. 15 minutes. All right. Um, this little backpack, personalized backpack. My two-year-old needed a backpack because the other ones have many backpacks, and they're actually um, a little too big for her. This one is so perfect, and it has her name on it. The only thing is, her name is spelled with two A's. So instead of taking it to get it embroidered. I'm just going to find something at the craft store, another A, and stick there. And that way she'll have her name on her backpack. But I'm thinking um, we've done these before. It looks, it may be Pottery Barn, Company Kids, or Lily and Vernon is where one of the, those, one of the three places that I'm thinking this came from. It does not have a tag on it, but I have bought personalized from there and just looking at the quality. That's what I'm guessing. So, this is what I left yesterday. Um, I saw, I think I saw something else and went for that and left these on the shelf for some reason. But measuring cups, there's the brand. And I thought these were neat. They're three cups or amount each, but because of the angled tip. And then this morning, I actually, I found these. And I saw these. That's what reminded me to get these. I didn't see these yesterday. These things were a dollar each set. This set is by Pampered Chef. So I may even use these myself. And then I found this um, set of measuring cups and spoons for two dollars it's just a ton of them so they'll be able to use that for their math and cooking um what else these little bendy guys we had some and the last one this yellow one just got broken the other ones i have no idea but i saw them and i just threw them in just because uh a quick trip to the store last night to get some milk we got some funnels I know I needed some. So that will help them with their pouring and things like that. Trays. The trays were two for a dollar. So I have two. I'm not going to pick them up. But there's two red, two white, and two blue. And I will most likely be going back to get some more. That just was not my intention at the time. I had one bag. And, uh, yeah, we have to use recyclable bags here so but um yeah for two for a dollar not bad the water pitcher we are um i always move my kids away from super cups and keep a pitcher of water on the table that they can do i like this spout as opposed to the the push the thumb down kind of spout because that one always since break um, and it has this little ice tray thing here. So this is their water deal um, that they can get the water from. There's cups in there. Just like I showed the other day, their, um, their utensils. They have their own utensils out. We don't have to keep getting them. I also stopped at Walgreens last night. And these, for anybody that has little ones, these are four and up. They're Playtex. For months and up, worn up. Training time cups, the soft spout, twist and click. These are awesome. They don't spill or leak. They were um, $6.59. They're buy one, get one free. So you're going to get two for $6.59 with the, if you have a card. And if you don't, go ahead and get the card. It only takes a few minutes. It saves a ton. 
but yeah, 659. The other one I got was pink, and they also had like big kid cups, like uh, the rimless kind, and just the other zipper cups, the straw cups. They were buy one get one, 50% or buy one get one free. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, I was just trying to think about it. The only reason I didn't get the big kids one was because the girl patterns they were not different. I need two different girl patterns. So, anywho, 20 minutes, 25 seconds. Bye, guys.